How are you doing today, folks? Now, as always, please like, subscribe, share, and most importantly, I mean really most importantly, please comment because I want to talk to all of you. I started this channel to be able to talk to you guys and to make friends, to communicate, and be able to help out the community. And I can't do that without you commenting and us having a conversation. Now, before we get started, a little bit of Q&A. Comments I've heard a whole lot in all of these videos, which is, one, are you a fucking alcoholic? Answer to that, possibly. Very fucking possibly. However, in my defense, I'm used to drinking very high-end bourbons and whiskeys and basically just sipping them. And lately, I've been out partying, drinking basically dirt liquor, and apparently dirt liquor makes me black out like absolutely nothing. Case in point, last night I started off the night with a shot of 151 tequila and I did not drink anything after that. I'm on video a whole bunch of times with my friends going running around the town doing stupid shit, but I'm very clearly not drunk. Even still, every single thing I did, I blacked out. Thus, where most of these purchases come from. Secondly, do I belong to a drug cartel? How do I afford all of these knives? And the simple answer to that is I drink dirt liquor and I eat Top Ramen. And that's about my life. All of the liquor and salt will either mummify my body and I'll outlive you all or I'll die in the next 10 years. But either way, I'm going to have a good time doing it. Finally, do I keep all of these knives? The answer to that is no. There will be a knife sale coming up, I'm sure, because I'm sure, as you can see by the thumbnail, I have a leaning tower of packages and bad decisions, and I can't keep all of these. So if during the video you love something about the video, hit me up on either Instagram, Facebook, or email. Be aware, I do not respond to my emails very often. The best way to get in contact with me is through Instagram and or Facebook and be like, hey, how much? I want that. And chances are, we'll make a deal. But anyways, folks, the definition of insanity is to repeat the same action and expect a different result. So this is round three of these videos. So what does that say about me that I keep doing the same dumb shit? Now, folks, this is a drunk video. And there is a very real chance. I'm about to knock myself the fuck out right now. I love you guys. For once, nothing hit me. Ah! I'm so scared. Yeah! I'm invincible. <laughs> uh, I had to take a breath, man. In all seriousness, all these packages, that probably weighs 20 or 30 pounds. Probably an exaggeration to be fair, but it's fucking heavy. And I was genuinely worried. So the fact that it came out unscathed, I Somehow it scared me more. I was like, oh my God, it could have gone so much so bad. Like, but I love you guys. So I got to keep the theme and possibly destroy things and or myself for your entertainment. Anyways, we got a whole lot to go through. So let's get started. Today's unboxing knife is the CKF Macad Loro customized by my good friend, Ryan Palmer and or Antic 7. Look at that beautiful, beautiful beast. This package is from Blade HQ. So, you know I was drunk, so I don't buy anything new. Let's get it. We have a white box. Uh, we have a Civivi Elementum Olive Micarta. What the hell? Uh, the old Civivi pouch, Civivi swag. Oh, this is the button lock. Um, oh, that's kind of smooth. Um, Basically a gravity knife. Uh, lefty EDC hates this thing. Uh, I don't know, it's okay. I don't love it, don't hate it either. Might keep it, not sure. Probably dye it red. The red button lock. Anyways, I'll call it the Civivi red lock. With my red wall and red hair and red channel. <laughs> wow, this one is from DLT Trading. What the hell is wrong with me? For the record, folks, I don't buy things new because I always resell stuff. So buying it new, you just never ever get a return on your investment. So yeah, uh, what the hell do we have here? 
All right. So we have a spider co, which is a good sign. They hold their value pretty nicely. And we have a lot of crap falling everywhere. But, Jesus. Uh, it's a Gale Brat. Oh! <laughs> we have a spider co Capara in 20 CV. All right. I going to be honest, I don't remember these dropping. Um, okay. Also, fun fact, if y'all ever want a preview of what I buy drunk, Drunk Me loves Instagram, and I post stupid shit there all the time. And I would not be surprised if I gave you a preview of this, because I could just see myself doing that. All right, now we have something that is from the secondary market, which makes me excited, because I love buying from you guys. We have a package and a package. That's not tape, I'm just stupid. I think I just scratched the box. Uh, oh my God, why is it so, it's so fucking sticky. Every time I try to open it, it reseals itself. Dude, that's fucking durable. Like, <laughs> I look weak as shit right now. Uh, we have a Best Tech, a BT-102A, whatever the hell that means. Uh, I'm not normally a huge fan of Best Tech. I don't mind some of their stuff, but what the? All right, first impressions are that is a beautiful knife. And it's a big one. Look at that. It fits my fat hands. Test the action. Oh. <laughs> I almost cut my ass. Wow. What is this? Uh, where's the box? Togata. This is a Best Tech Togata. Togata fucking have this, man. What? Dude, why is it so smooth? Hey. <laughs> All right, Best Tech. This is a weird flex. Why did you mirror polish the pivot collars? I mean, it's cool, but that's definitely a new one. But the action is butter. Ergonomics are fantastic. No lock stick, no lock rock. Everything is dead solid, like, damn. All right. This is probably gonna be a keeper. Like, this is great. Hell yeah. I'm getting happy again, means it's time to sing. I'm sorry in advance, folks, because I can't sing. And we have a package from, oh, okay. This is not a drunk buy, or it might have been. I'm not really sure. But either way, I know what this is. We have an ulti clip and a Tonto Frag Flipper from some company, I forgot what it's called. Uh, there is a slight drag on the scales. It does drop shut, which is nice. That's okay. But this is from Mike Bacola, who, let's talk a bit about Mike Bacola, right? There are friends you make that you just kind of connect with, and there are friends that just do not leave you the fuck alone, so eventually you just become true friends. I don't remember why Mike messaged me, but he did, and then he called me, and I ignored the call, and then he called me again, and I answered the call, and we talked for three and a half hours. And then he called me again, and again, and again, and again, and then said, Kyle? With a question mark on the end of it, like a female. And somehow we became weird, awkward friends. Mike Bacola, you're a weirdo dog, but I love you. This thing is, it's okay. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little unimpressed by it, but either way, brother, love you. For the remainder of this video, the unboxing knife is the Best Tech Tatuga. Because I just love... Ooh. Ooh, this thing is sharp. Oh, yeah. And... This is from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. To be clear, great company. I don't buy things new. It is an artisan. Okay. That's more promising. They have some pretty unique designs. A little package and <laughs> what the fuck is this? It's a little baby knife. It's a
adorable. Look at this thing. It's adorable. Does it flip? Oh, it actually has pretty good action. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, it's a little too small for my size of hands, but this thing is actually kind of badass. It's so tiny. It's adorable. It's like a little special ed bullfrog. Like, I love it. Rub it. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, I have the big version of this. I think I paid 60 for it. I'm assuming I paid 60 for this as well. Um, this my card of those bitch, and this thing is super light. Like, I... <laughs> I, I kind of love this. This is a much better knife, but I kind of love this little stupid thing. <laughs> All right, folks, the Tatuga is definitely a better knife, but we're going to use the baby. <laughs> I kind of love this thing. This is another one from the secondary market, so I'm hoping for something cool. Come on. We got another package in a package, and Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dude, I'm just weak today. I'm going like, oh, I'm going to tear this wide, and it does nothing. I am a pansy ass today, and we have a package and a package. Where did my baby knife at? We got some tape that's not holding on very well, but I respect the idea behind it. Um, what the hell? Why is this like a fucking fanny pack? Or like a gigantic wallet, or a chick's wallet, like... What? And <laughs> it's pink? And it has this like weird seashell looking pink thing to it or hot pink or pink, I don't fucking know. What is this? What the... <coughs> <laughs> All right, this has nothing to do with the knife. This fucking stinks. Like this material? Oh, I don't know why I did that. That was fucking ter Oh. Okay, not a drunk buy. Uh, this is actually a trade for, I think it was like three knives, but this is a Dwayne Dwyer Custom. Also, inside this weird smelling package is, this is, I guess, the COA written on the package. I don't know about that one. Now, the packaging is weird, but the knife, oof, this thing is sweet. And look at that incredible flame anno. It's nice, really bright. I'm normally not a fan of blue hardware, but it all matches really, really nicely here. Like, vaguely pentagram, pentacle looking pivot. Like this thing is badass. CPM 3V blade, laser pen dwire on the other side. And the ergos on this are actually really good. Like, I mean, I got big ass hands and I got a little bit of room, like not much, but a little bit like, this feels fantastic. I will say there is a little bit of blade play that somehow whenever you just tap that a little bit, it's gone. So there's like some weird, like probably like half a micron separation going on somewhere for like an early lockup that causes the blade play and problems. And again, you just do that. Just tap the lock bar and now it's like rock solid. I mean, I don't make custom knives. I'm not sure how all of that type of stuff works, but honestly, for as cool as this thing is, if I have to open it up and tap it once, I'm good with it. This is beautiful. Big, fancy, I think like the guy said he paid, I think it was like 1400 for this, or it's how much it was worth. I'm, I love it. This is probably not going anywhere for a long time. This is a, uh, this is badass. But I don't know why. I still love the toad knife. $1,400, probably like 30 bucks. Love. All right, what do we have here? We got another box. I almost just cut myself. Whoa, that was really close. I almost just straight circumcised myself with a little toad knife. I am not opening up any more boxes on my lap. I am now scared. We have a box with bubble wrap that's flat, I guess. Ah! Anyways, I am a child. But inside we have a fucking packing peanuts. Again, I know you're a great way to keep your knife safe, but I fucking hate these things. Anyways, we have a Chris Reeve knife. Um, 
So I'm pretty sure I know what this is. This is the uh, 31. So this was a very much a drunk buy, but the guy I got it from, we actually ended up talking and kind of became sort of cool. And now I'm like a moderator on his like Reddit forum. The knife community is so funny. Like I didn't know who this guy was at all. I just went on to buy his knife while being fucked off. We ended up talking and became friends. Like it's so casual, so easy, I love it. But this is a Savenza 31 but it is a very special one because I've actually wanted one of these for a long time. Not so much a 31, but definitely with this modification. Folks, we have a, you might have guessed it, a gosh darn motherfucking Spidey Benza. Look at that pretty little thing. Looks kind of like a bird, maybe even a little fish-like. Y'all know I like my weird ass fish knives. This comes with a full tie deep carry clip aftermarket, obviously. And this thing is freaking cool, man. As far as the action, Sabenzas don't normally drop shut. This is no exception. But that slow spidey roll is there. And I kind of love that. But can I flick it? I cannot. Try again. With wrist, I can flick it. Yep. Ow, just cut myself. Yeah, with wrist I can flick it, that's about it. And I can spidey flick it, but it's definitely a stretch because there is not much room at all. That's all you got to work with, which for my fat ass fingers, ain't much. Ergonomics probably aren't the best. This one might not stay around very long, but I just love handling new things. And this is new for me, so I'm pretty damn happy with it. But if you're interested, make me an offer. I'm down. All right, folks, now full disclosure, this might not be a knife. I don't know what the hell this giant ass Amazon box is, but we're gonna cut it at the butt and see. <laughs> I don't know if this is like a fixed blade or some massive ass thing because this is a really big box. And we have a, folks, look at that. In this box, this giant fucking box is this. Why did, whoever sent this to me, why did you pack, pack it like that? I don't really understand. You could use a flat rate box or a, I mean, it doesn't really matter, I guess, but this is a giant box for a very small box. I, I don't understand the logic behind that, but oh well. Also, Hercules! That sucked. It's popped, it's just not, no big pop. Come on. There you go, kind of. That was lame. Hercules! There we go. <laughs> All right, so we have a knife from Arcform, which is how you know I'm drunk, because I've tried most of these, and they have great action, they do not fit my hands at all. This is a brass one. Very nice patina going on, overall really nice. I do wish the brass carried over to both sides. I have this thing about symmetry, this, this not being symmetrical, means it's not gonna be a keeper for me no matter what. It's also a flipper, but there is a kind of a fuller here that Nope, this fuller is useless, but as far as the ax for flipping, okay. It actually flips really good, wow. It actually drops down really good too. This is actually a fantastic knife as far as flipping. Whoa, this is kind of fun. <laughs> but yes, this is not a keeper by any means, so if you want it, hit me up, I'll sell it for sure. All right, let's start opening some of the actual little bitty. This thing is sharp as hell. This thing almost went through the packaging of my hand. Like, that would have sucked. This is a very heavy little thing that I'm pretty sure is not a knife. If this didn't weigh so much, I'd think I bought drugs. But this is, this is heavy, so it's definitely not dope or anything, but uh... I mean, that's a little suspect looking, right? So first off, we have a very clearly handmade coin. That's really interesting. 
For those of you not aware, I do practice Asashiruism. Um, I'm not gonna go into that on this video. Simply put, there's just a lot to talk about. But the symbols on that coin are sacred to me. The fact that it's very clearly made by hand. Already, I love this. this. This means a lot. Now, we have a very tiny package. So we're gonna use the very tiny knife and open this very carefully because I don't want to fuck anything up. And it's wrapped in wax paper, whoa. So it's not even open, I just saw that and like I just want to show you guys. I'm pretty sure I bought myself some new runics, which is awesome because I actually lost a few of mine. Yep, that's exactly what these are. That is really, really cool. These are very clearly kind of like a shipwreck patina brass. This ruined is Feyu. And honestly, some of the finish work on these is not as good as others. Like that side looked cool. This side kind of looks like shit. But overall, these are actually really, really cool. And I was definitely not expecting this at all. So drunk me, I appreciate you. Moving on, we have, man, I love this little fucking frog knife. This thing is bitching. We have a Kaiser, uh, a Kaiser Feist. Dude, I hate the Feist. Like, I know the Feist is a good knife, but personally, it's just, it's so small for my hands. Like, why the fuck did I buy a goddamn Feist? Like, man, if anybody wants a Feist, that's not a Feist. Okay, um, I already have a TRM Atom, so if anybody wants a TRM Atom in this burlap micarta, normally good action. Does not really drop shut, it's not what these knives are for, but the action is very good. Very slicey blade, decent ergonomics. Honestly, honestly, the TRM knives are fantastic. And we also have some badass G Carta scales. Like, this is actually really, really cool. But I have what I would consider to be my perfect TRM Atoms. So if anybody wants these, either the G-Card of Scales or the Atom, hit me up. I'll give you a fair price. Uh, I don't know why I bought this. I have one. I've had it for a while, but drunk me sometimes. Sometimes he wins. Sometimes he does stupid shit. Seriously, though, I hate the Feist. So glad this is not a Feist. I'm so excited. So, in this box, we have a pouch from Prometheus Design Works. So I'm pretty sure you guys already know what this is. First flick, ooh, butter. We have the Prometheus Design Works Invictus, folks. Look at that beautiful titanium integral knife with these gorgeous contoured micarta scales. Oh, and that action, love it. But seriously, folks, just look at this beautiful, beautiful knife. Clean ergonomic lines, fantastic action, and just an overall fantastic knife. Come on. Ah, damn it. I hate the damn packing peanuts. Bug it. Come on. Gah! Knife Joy USA sticker. Tactical black box. You know what this means. Unboxing this beast. We have a sheath and a very strange, I'm, I'm guessing, belt clip. That is so weird looking. And here we have the sheath itself that. How the hell do you open this? <laughs> no, that's upside down. No. Oh my God. Oh, there we go. It was camouflaged. Also, I'm an idiot. 2021 reimagined Benchmade Adamus. This is in the crewwear steel. Oh, okay. Out of the box, it's um, damn. Okay, uh, bench mage is normally pretty stiff out of the box. Um, this is not. I'm actually pretty impressed by that. Um, <laughs> man, I don't know how to describe this right now, so bear with me. This knife leaves this like weird texture on your hand, so as I'm actually holding it, like, 
God, um. <sighs> if you've ever dealt with mud before, when you basically are just getting dirty, if you're out mudding in your truck or you're out working in the mud, and afterwards when it crusts on your actual hands and you wash it off and there's that weird textile feeling to it, it's not bad. It's also not good, it's just kind of weird. That's what this feels like. Um, it's just G10, which I've had a million knives in G10, so I don't quite understand why. But uh, hold on a second, folks. I'm gonna go wash this knife. It makes me feel dirty. All right, Benchmade Adonis, the first knife I ever had to wash out of the package. What the hell? If any of you guys have recently got one of these new knives, this is the Benchmade full size 2021 reimagining Crewwear Adamus, and it felt weird in your hand and you had to wash it, let me know. Like, I hope this is just me. Having to, to wash the knife out of the box is so weird. Like, it literally felt like mud drying on your skin or maybe like some baby powder. Like, it, it just felt weird. And the box was sealed, so I know Knife Joy is not fucking with me, but like, dude, it felt so weird. It is a lot better now. It's not quite ideal in my size of hand. Uh, it is a big knife, it is a fat knife, but it might not be a knife for me. But at least that weird ass texture is gone. That is so strange. Now, as you can see, we have a beautiful, beautiful blade in dead center. The action is great. The edge is slightly toothy, but definitely not bad. It goes through receipt paper pretty easy. That was a tear. That was my fault though. Yeah, a little toothy, not ideal, but it's bench made, so it's kind of what I expect, but it's it's not bad at all. All right, and now we have a package from Mr. Slicey Dicey, Mr. Brian Ball himself. Now, I posted it up, I was looking to buy this knife on the forums, and this man messaged me with a very fair offer for pretty much the perfect rendition of this knife, and I... I am just excited, folks. Oh man, I'm excited. My hands are slightly shaking. I might stab myself in the face. We have paper for packaging and more paper and more paper and more paper and the bag and advertising. I see you trying to get free publicity slicey dicey not like he needs it, folks. He's way bigger than I am. If you don't know who he is, his channel link will be in the description below. Go subscribe to Slicey Dicey and my boy Lefty EDC while you're at it. So first things first, we have some extra scales. I'm pretty sure you guys already know what this is now, but just wait, man. This thing is beautiful. We have the hinderer box. And within the hinderer box, we have more packing peanuts. God, I hate packing peanuts so much. And we have this. This, folks, is the hinderer knives. You guessed it, the full track, folks. Discontinued for some ungodly reason. This one's sporting some beautiful marbled carbon fiber scales. Overall, beautiful working beast of a knife. First flip, oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. I expected to have to move this. There's certain knives I just like to try. They're just this big, huge thing. They're kind of rare. Like, you know what, man? I have to try that. I've done this with hundreds of knives over the years. This one I thought would be the same, folks. But um, this might actually be a keeper. Between the beautiful overall aesthetics, the gorgeous blade, the hyper-industrialized handle, and surprisingly enough, the ergonomics? I got big ass hands, man, and the ergonomics, oh dude, they feel good. Ah! I'm not really a fan of flippers, you guys know that, but the action, dude, that's just so smooth. I love the satisfying lockup. But here's the real question. Can we roll it out? Come on. <laughs> Come on. Let's try this. 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm not on the lock bar. Okay. Yeah, that's not happening. Uh, <laughs> so the fullers are just for aesthetics. You cannot thumb roll it out. You cannot spidey flick it. But as far as being a flipper, just a flipper, man, that is spot on. All right, now we have another box, a big old box. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let's try to not kill myself on camera. Because if I did, who would upload it? I would just die for no reason, no humor. Can't have that. I gotta die, it needs to be live. So anyways, in this box we have a keep on desk when making videos or playing with knives. <laughs> it's a first aid kit, like what? <laughs> oh man. Whoever sent this, fun fact, if I cut myself, the most I'll do is duct tape and or super glue. Otherwise, I just let it bleed. But I know some folks who will love this and definitely use it. And we have another Chris Reeve knife. Knives, knife, I don't, I don't know. This one appears to be a large and cozy, so, oh, never mind. Um, this is actually a trade from a guy that had no vouches at all. So he sent it first, and if I like it, I will send him a, I believe it's my Heretic Manticore X. This is a Nkosi with that beautiful sheep's foot blade, dual thumb studs, blue, no matching hardware, unfortunately. This is actually in pretty solid shape. Uh, we definitely have snail trails and little scrapes here and there. It's not what I would describe to be clean, but I mean, I like it. And let's be honest, I just threw it over my head on the floor. So, I mean, I'm kind of screwed either way. So I guess, sir, you got a heretic coming your way because yeah. <laughs> oh, what? I've never had a Chris Reeve knife drop shut. That, come on, do it again, do it again. Ah, wrong way, do it again. Okay, it was a fluke, but it kind of dropped shut. Oh, ah! So yeah, if you would like a Chris Reeves Knives and Cozy with a little bit of love, message me. We can definitely do business. All right, folks. Now, as far as drunk buying goes, that really wasn't that bad. I love the Tatuga. I'm not sure about that name, but as far as the knife itself, like this thing, fantastic. I don't know why, but I'm mildly obsessed with this little freaking artisan. Just, ah, like I love this weird little war toad looking freaking thing. Like I, badass, badass. Wow, with, that would close very fast. That was almost my finger. Yeah, really good action. We've got customs, we've got productions, we've got, wow. We have custom e-productions, we have full customs, multiple Chris Reeve knives, which is interesting, a foul smelling pouch, and a weird filling knife. Overall, I think we've had some fun, but as always, I got some things to sell. So if you are interested, please let me know on either Instagram, Facebook, or if all else fails, my email, but I don't really check that shit. Also, this is just on my lap right now and I just keep on smelling it. It smells like an old fucking closet, moth balls, a sketchy fucking garage. Like, what is this made out of? Like, ugh, dude, like, I, I don't know why I keep doing that. I'm just curious. I'm thinking maybe it'll smell better. It doesn't. I'm just a fucking idiot, but um, anyways, as always, folks, I love you all with all of my heart. Please take care and bye-bye.